edition of The Bomb Show. Today we are doing some uh <laughs> The Gypsy Danger, and we'll be uh, talking about both the Sideshow Collectibles Premium Format and the 18-inch NECA. So, can I go get the boxes? Yes, you can. Okay. Right. First, we'll talk about this cool one. So for the Sideshow Premium Format, of course, uh, we're going to have a huge box. Monster box. Since it has... Uh, thick styrofoam inside. It's just a plain flip lid um, box like most of their premium formats or pretty much all of their premium formats have. Yeah. It does have uh, the cool artwork on the front. Mm -hmm. Really um, nice artwork on the front actually. And all the sides really have a nice Gypsy Danger deco yeah. on it. Beautiful illustration artwork and deco and just the whole scheme of the box. It looks like a big giant crate that the, the robot comes in, you know? That's probably Freaking awesome! All the, the simplest logos and, side there, but yeah, but it's a know. giant box. It needs all the extra padding because of the you know the polystone statue. Um, needs but, more uh, protecting. Yeah, it needs a lot more protection during <laughs> so, shipping, uh, and yeah, yeah, a, a very nice premium box. Um, but that's it for the side. Let's show look at the NECA. Format. Real simple, right to the point, but it's a nice box. I like it. I like the fact that it's got a. Very clean, simple design. Same thing, Pacific Rim, blue, whatever, deco for Gypsy Danger, and and a nice window in case you don't want to open these things. You can keep it in the box. A good eye on what's inside. Mm. But this is a real simple box too, just a window box. But nice graphics. Yeah, it's nice. On every side. It's simple. It's very simple, and, and, and I'm sure it keeps the prices down, which is awesome. Nice box as well. But anyway, let's get into the figures. <laughs> so here we have the Sideshow Collectibles Gypsy Danger. Um, <laughs> uh, we get um, a nice polystone a statue with a nice base of uh, wreckage here. Um, it's the like the sea, the sea, seabed, isn't it? The, the floor. It's like the sea floor, and there's like a sunken ship in there. And it looks like that might be. Yeah, that's what it is. It looks like a big oil tanker or something sunken, like a cargo ship or something. And this oh. looks like giant, like wreath or something like that. Or yeah. And then it's got this cool. Yeah, almost like the fan. It's almost like yeah, it's almost like the uh, turbine intake on his chest. Almost similar design, spiraling outward on the base, and it's got a real nice like. If you look around, it looks almost like rusty, yeah. like, like that, looks like it's got a that patina, a from, like patina. from underwater when it gets the way stuff gets underwater. It's got that like deco on the on the rock and stuff and on the ship and everything. And, and the uh, Gypsy Danger himself, the paint apps are uh, really nice, very detailed, um, pretty, you know, precisely mm -hmm. painted. Mm -hmm. um, There's a lot of little micro stuff going on you see little numbers and logos and icons and stripes and little all kinds of speckling and different tones and hues on the blues all kinds of just just looks like a nice worn weathered uh it's really 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 well done and uh because of the scale of the uh i would imagine this has got to be in the hundredths of scale. I mean, this well, is that's a at the yeah at the absolute minimum. I would say this has got to be 144th scale. I would imagine. So um, they say in, in movies. I remember hearing this like special effects people. They say when you want to make things look huge, you build them small, and when you want to make things look small, you build them huge. Which is strange, but it it's it, it, detail. It it seems like it's it's weird like that how they do that with film, and it kind of seems like. They kind of did that with this, like a lot of the detail, the really fine and sharp details, uh, it seems like Sideshow did like a wash over everything, which is really cool because it kind of gives the uh, the perception of depth, which also, it you know, that's how you, you know, really differentiate depth. When you're looking at things, it's, it's hard and soft edges, uh, high and low contrast, and it really seems like that's what Sideshow is going after with this because of the, you know, the monstrous nature of, of the uh, of the Jaegers, which is, is freaking awesome. And he does have his uh, his LED on the chest. 
does light up. <clears throat> I'm and sure. It does look really and, nice. It right. Looks pretty authentic with the way the light shines through the through fan. Through the fan, right? It looks really good. Um, I haven't looked at it in the dark yet, but I can see it well enough in our store, and it's pretty. We got a lot of a lot of natural light coming in here. Um, yeah, I mean, down to the freaking. All the knuckles, all of the, the mechanics on the knuckles and on the arms and his spinal column here. Look at that. Look at the mm -hmm. spine. It's a really beautiful, beautiful statue. I thought I remember it being bigger at Comic-Con, but it was probably because it was it was Ele elevated. Yeah, because down right in front of me, it's a little smaller than I remember. He stands about 20 inches tall with the base. I would imagine if he was standing straight Crazy. himself, the robot would be about... 17 inches tall yeah he's, he's probably a, a hair smaller than the uh than the uh, NECA but uh wow very, very beautiful and um, um this piece they have released the uh, edition size on this one is limited to 1500 1500 pieces. so yeah this is definitely the the collector the collector piece to go after if you're looking for an investment piece um but very 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 beautiful piece um but we've been getting into the sideshow premium format stuff recently um as you guys might know if you've been following us for a while but um i'm just big into monsters and robots so when i saw this guy at comic-con i was like yeah i just want to get one of these guys you know um i want to get one of these pacific rim uh premium formats um because we can't collect all the different lines and we're trying to collect star wars and we want to collect the, the dead stuff you now but uh so i was like let me just get one of these but man it's really nice. Um, I do plan on collecting the NECAs um, just because I can afford those a little better right now and still be able to collect the Sideshow Premium Format stuff from um, Star Wars, which is what I really want to collect for this Premium Format, but I, I really wish I could collect these as well because pretty much they're beautiful, but the addition size is, is a big deal. It's definitely something to keep in mind with this kind of stuff. Um, but let's um let's check out the necker. Okay. Definitely beautiful piece by Sideshow. Um. All right, so here we have the NECA Gypsy Danger. I believe you said this is edition two. Oh what? This is the second. This is yeah. This is uh, uh battle damage Gypsy Danger. So this guy has um his right arm has got the uh it's converted into the cannon. And uh, he's got the as he had in the film, and he's got the sword whip thing whatever which is removable also, but I like it in there and I'm not gonna take it out. Um, now, this is a toy. This is, this is definitely a, a whole different ball game from the Sideshow um, statue. Um, this isn't as geared toward the collector as Sideshows is. Sideshows is, you know, it's, it's on, another, on, on, a, on another level of collecting than this guy is, but let me tell you guys something right now. Um, I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of detractions from collecting NECA stuff mostly because of um, a lot of the things they make I'm not interested in but the things that they make that I'm very interested in like predators not crazy about their predator stuff however and that being said this is a different story this is a whole different story I mean this they, I, I gotta say man as far as what this figure costs I don't think there's nothing touching it right now. As far as what you get, bang for the buck, for this NECA, uh, 18 inch, whatever. I mean, this compared to their Predators, I don't think there's any comparison. Um, and they're basically for, about the same. I think the I think these are the same price. I think these may go for maybe $20 more even. It's that so doesn't matter. These are so much better. These have all, these ratcheted. it's all ratcheted joints. It's got really nice articulation. He's got two points in the foot, and that's a ball joint, that's a swivel joint. He's got nice ratcheted knees, nice ratcheted hips, universal hips. He's got a, a core articulation. He's got a ball jointed head. He's got ratcheted universal uh, shoulders. He's got rotating elbows. He's got a semi-spinning hand here. Um, and these guys have electronics. Multiple light-up features. This guy's his, his uh, intake lights up. His uh, the uh, whatever that whatever that thing is on its, on his forehead lights up, and his and his hand lights up. And I don't understand why they can't put one light in the Predator's helmet. Like that doesn't make sense. They, this guy's got three lights. But anyway, in my opinion, this guy kicks those Predators' asses, man. Everything this, about this him. This is a legitimate toy that. 
you really don't this, have much to complain about. There's honestly, for what you're getting for the money for this guy, they did a freaking heck of a job with this, man. And, and I was like, I really stayed away from a lot of the NECA stuff because of the Predator stuff, but I am absolutely collecting every single one of these. Um, yeah, if we can still. <laughs> we're, we're gonna figure out a way to hopefully get all of these because these are just superb. Um, big shout out to my man also for uh, hooking me up with this guy because um, I was just gonna go with the sideshow because I mean, I was, I, you know, I was big, I, I was not happy with the neck of Predators, but man, they sure have, uh, Stepped it up for they sure have sh shut my mouth up with this one, man. NECA has made a bad ass, insanely super bang for the buck collectible with this particular one right here. I can't speak for every single other one. Uh, we have the, uh, we have the knife head and this guy, and they are both fantastic for the money. Um, you want to play with this? This is a badass freaking toy. Um, and uh, uh, so, uh, you know, so this is a totally different, this is a really crisp paint job. And you see a lot more brush strokes on this, but it doesn't matter. They did it such a good job. I mean, it's still a really good paint job. And all the mechanical details on everything is really, really, really sharp and tight. You don't have that kind of haze or glaze over, which Sideshow did, because I think... That's that's immediately what makes this appear more like a toy because your eye it implies things. Once your once your eye uh, uh, transmits enough information on the object you're looking at, your brain totally uh, uh, implies the rest. Um, that's why you can see something from a distance and look really blurry, but you can immediately identify what it is. Um, that's your brain implying things. Big shout out to my my professor Dan Dos Santos who taught me that. He's a, <laughs> he's a great professor. So uh, yeah, so. Here they go side by side, so you can see that the uh, NECA is of a of a larger oh, scale. I'd say it's it's approximately between maybe five and seven percent larger in scale. Um, but uh, they're both beautiful. The the uh, sideshow is probably a bit brighter in the, the blue. I, th I think with this being more battle damaged and having more specs right. on it's it, it's filthier. It there's it more contrast. Darker. Um, but they're both beautiful pieces again this one is more for the the high-end investing collector type of person this is for somebody who wants to take it out the package and just damn play with it because that's what i wanted to do with these when uh when i initially i mean it's it's still good as a representation it's a beautiful representation to have on display um... big 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 congratulations to NECA for this man because honestly i didn't think they would be able to Do pull something like this off for the for the price point. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a big achievement for them. Um, but both of them are beautiful. Uh, depending on your budget, either one of these is a, is a is a really nice piece. Um, and, and I guess the, the the biggest thing that stands out to us and what the difference for the price point since they the are very size. similar in, yeah. in size is the addition yeah. size. Yeah. This is going to be limited to only 1500 yeah, and it is knows? it is limited to 1500 <laughs> who knows how yeah, many they're going to make of them but this is still cool though but this is still really cool and uh they're both awesome um both we recommend them both um if you can get them um i wish this guy had a switch out arm that you could put a regular hand on and i wish this guy had a light something in his face that lit up um but i mean they're both beautiful who cares? They're both awesome, and yeah, I don't. I I would love to collect all of these, um, but unfortunately, because of money, we're probably just not going to be able to. We have to pick and choose. Even though we're very fortunate and we do get a ton of stuff, we can't get everything. And <laughs> I do want to have a representation of each of these guys, and I am actually going to go after all of the NECAs because I really like this. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, and I would like to offer a big apology uh, because we had to cancel the award show. Um, there are several reasons. Um, we're, we're doing, you know, we're taking care of a couple of family members right now. We're having a baby. In case you don't know, we run a shop, and we're trying I to do the show. Job. Yeah, <laughs> she has a full-time job. I've been producing an album, uh, working in the studio, and, and we didn't get. 
Yeah, and we got we didn't get in, anywhere near as many. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? That's I still want to apologize to the people that did. Um, you want to answer that real quick? That did vote because I did say I was gonna do it, but I I bit off more than I can chew for that and the and the Christmas episodes, and I've been engineering an album and still trying to do <laughs> other things on top of that, even. Um, but uh. Two awesome figures. Go get either one of them. I'm just stalling and see if Wendy can say goodbye to you guys real quick. So, because you want to have the, the image of a pretty friendly face. Not his ugly. Yeah, because no, yeah, because you know, I, something's up with my face that people don't like. But whatever. So I'll let Wendy sign off. I guess uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. As always, peace and love. And love. That's right. Oh, and these are both the bomb. They are both yes. the bomb. Yes, yes, absolutely. Both the bomb. Yes, peace and love, everyone. Uh, peace, love, and Godspeed. Okay. <laughs>